When it comes to destination trailers or cottages, let me tell you, Cedar Creek makes a fantastic one. And if you're looking for a front living, 40 foot, three inch long, roughly 11,300 pound dry weighted vacation home away from home, check out the 46CK. What's up, it's Chris Young standing in the front living portion of this beautiful Forest River Cedar Creek Cottage, the 40CCK. Now this is a front living cottage destination RV. Uh, so you'll notice that the, the, the bay windows right here are on the front, whereas you know sometimes they're on the back. That's just kind of how they denounce the living areas right there, or how they announce it. So solid wood balances with decorative right around all of your windows right here. And the great thing about destination RVs, you get more space, more windows. They are heavier though, because they're meant to kind of stay in place. Uh, plus, you know, they're hung wall construction, all this, that, and the other thing. This solid, well-built destination RVs, but not meant to be really drug around that, that much. Dominating right here in the front cap, behind our windows with day and night shades and blackout shades is our sleeper sofa. So this is a comfortable plush sofa and there's the full extension queen size bed underneath the cushions right there. You got a little end table over here on the campsite with 110 GFCI outlets. On the off camp side, we come right into our entertainment area. Solid wood cabinetry with the frosted glass inlays right here and hideaway hinges. Another good calling card of strong, good uh, construction. Plus you notice we have super high ceilings inside cottage uh, RVs are you know almost the same height as like a full profile fifth wheel if you can kind of get into that mode of thinking. Entertainment center right here, console shelf. We got our linear series AM FM command center with Bluetooth DVD player. It's dual zone. This thing is futuristic and awesome. Looks like it came straight out of Star Wars. Underneath it, you got an electric fireplace with blower, multiple flame settings, multiple light settings. You get about uh, 5,000 BTUs of heat coming off of there. So it really looks good, but also does a good job of knocking the chill off the air. Across from the entertainment center here with our easy to clean, slip resistant vinyl flooring. Inside the carpeted slide is our Allure electric recliners. Now these are comfortable, they're plush. You'll see that they're surrounded by the huge windows, the solid wood balance, which is all one piece well, with the corner sides connected, going around, really making this look aesthetically pleasing. Wood inlay with the mushroom lights, freestanding dinette with that rustic decor on it, plus you got the hideaway storage right there, strut supported, and the little pullout if you need some additional room. Our chairs right there, seated in, dual USB charging, and my residential style sconce right here with the LED light. Beautiful solid surface countertop right here with plenty of prep space. Now you do have a little LED accent light on, the, on this. It's decorative. It's also functional. Got your little InterVac vac system right there. You'll see the bag of tubes in the uh, pass-through storage, but you do have built-in uh, vac on this one. Got the little sponge storage right under my uh, countertop and sink. And take a look at this 7030 stainless steel undermounted sink. That is huge. Comes with drying racks bigger than my arms. That high rise chef's faucet with the sprayer nozzle, plus the beautiful inlay right here with the LED backlight, some residential sconces. Over here in my main cooking area, more of that solid surface countertop, solid decorative backsplash. I like the way that feels. These solid wood cabinets. I even like the inlay that we have right here in the slide. I mean, these, these Cedar Creek cottages are because you know, a lot of people use them for, well, some, sometimes permanent residence or you know extended staying. So you get you know bigger appliances, you get like ducted AC, which we'll talk about here in a second. But you can also get double paned windows for like the windows you see over here on the slide. Just some features you can get when you're talking about your destination cottage. Just let your specialist at Camping World and Gander help you. Large insignia convection oven right here, four burner cooktop with my insignia stainless steel oven down there too. Residential, big and beefy, which are the meals you could make on that bad boy. All right, custom drawers right here with the pullout, full extension on solid wood construction, full extension on that ball bearing drive. I like it, I like it a lot. I think Bobby likes it too. Frosted glass right here on my pantry door. Once again with the pullout shelves there, plus some floating shelves right there, storage underneath. 
You're going to get a ton of storage and a ton of space. A little room up above my Insignia 18 cubic foot fridge freezer combo with water system right there. You see the filter cap and the distribution point right there. A little freezer. A little freezer. Ain't nothing little about this 40cc I'm going to tell you that right now. A great little prep or coffee station right here with the backsplash. You do get the King router built in. Some storage underneath as well as pull out trash and recycling, a little storage drawer, another storage drawer, access panel, and more storage over here as well as commands for my ceiling fan. You'll see you got your tank heater, your water pump, you know, you know, propane, all this, that, and the other thing, the lights, run out the awnings, run out the slide room. Uh, I mean, just your little command panel. And more pantry storage right there. Now, the one thing you'll notice about destination cottages, usually here on the campsite, bam, large sliding glass doors with, uh, you got to get the uh, little shades that, that uh, come down. It's not in there, but definitely get that because if not, this thing will heat up super quick in the summertime. Now, you have uh, two 15K BTU ACs, but they're ducted and they're zoned. So if you notice, you don't see like an AC uh, panel here in the roof. That's because it's all set right here and ducted right here. You can control the zones, the modes, program it, as well as set a time, temperature, the whole nine, just like you do your home. Max air fans right there, which is that big blade fan right there, which does a great job of moving the heat out of this RV. Come into the bathroom, you got a porcelain bowl with the foot flush right there, high rise, decorative and beautiful solid countertop right here with my vanity sink. Got my lights, we don't even really need them. Mirrored medicine cabinet, large with the big lips. Decorative solid pocket door, I really like the way this looks. Some hangers right there. Just an all around beautiful vacation home. These, which is what these are great for, because you can take it to the beach, take it to the mountains. You don't have to be locked into one location. You get a destination RV. You now have your mobile vacation home. You just move it whenever you want it. Just don't move it all the time. Single surround shower enclosure right here, residential styled. You'll see that we have the glass doors right here. You got the big old shower controls right there and the corner notches, the bench seat. Love it. Got the ducted 35K BTU furnace all the way through there too. Decorative LED light. Solid wood door leading me into the master bedroom with its own access point, which you'll see right there. Chest of drawers with the accent light underneath. Large panoramic window with the 32 inch insignia TV right above. Come over here, you have more storage, just like you would at your home. And stackable washer dryer prep in the sliding door right here or more wardrobe space and you got separate 110s for your washer and dryer too and Bobby over there uh, this one just happens to feature the cadet electric furnace so this is just a separate little heater that you know if you get cold at night cut that on and boom start kicking out the heat hopefully we don't have it on now oh good okay Woo. so that would make this room hot king size bed nestled in its own slide with opposing windows, dual USB charging, storage up above, and strut supported storage underneath, which is also accessible from the outside. And right there is our little hose for the vacuum system. And then right here, Bob, you got your other wardrobe space, little shelf right there. There you go. Get on up in there. Let me close you, close you up in there, Bobby. Mirrored sliding glass door. Uh-oh, I can't open it, Bob. So, uh, well, while, while, while Bob's stuck in there, we'll go talk about the outside of this beautiful <laughs> Cedar Creek Cottage 40 CCK. Bye, Bobby. So here we are on the outside, finally got Bob untrapped. <laughs> Dang it. Of the all new Cedar Creek Cottage 40 CCK. Man, this is a big beauty. And you're gonna notice right away, look at that fiberglass end cap with the picket fence decoration. Come on, it's screaming, get me as your vacation home. Twin 30 pound LP tanks up front. You got the handle for the uh, tongue jack right there. Single welded I-beam frame under here as well. You'll see my stabilizer jacks. You do have those in the front and the rear. Heated and enclosed underbelly. Large slide with the seals all the way around, insulated all the way around. 
And like I mentioned, it's got that blown insulation in here too, just like your home. You got the steel fold up steps, your two sets of rear stabilizer jacks, leading us into the sliding glass door with the door guard here as a handle. You got your Furion cable connection right here and 110 power as well as your external speakers. You'll see that we have the awning right here, large awning with the LED light strip. It's a Solera. It's got the adjustable pitch. You have the safety eye hole inside the entryway into the master bedroom right here. Steel fold up steps leading into the master as well. That beautiful high gloss fiberglass exterior. You don't see this in a lot of just standard RVs, but having this just really makes it look good. Plus it's coated, so you're gonna get extra protection. You know, you won't get as much fading on these. They're just built a little bit sturdier, they're heavier, and they're bigger. Come around to the rear, you'll see we got that little arch ceiling with the rubber nozzles. Those help keep the rain and the snow off the top of this unit. You got the backup camera right there little access slash storage panel, which actually leads you to the 20 gallon water heater, which is located right here. We'll shut that, watch out Bobby, we got the AC going, so water's dripping. All right, right here in the rear off camp slide is the access panel that we saw under the bed. And right here is our hose for the vacuum system, which is centrally located. You got a little access door right here. If you need to get to the water pumps, the water connections, cut off this, do your winterization. City water connection, fresh water connection, black tank flush. Right under there is our low point drains and our terminations. You got a 57 gallon fresh, 82 gallon gray, and 41 gallon black tank on this one. You got your 50 amp plug right here, double axle. You got the nitro filled tires on those Dexter Easy Lube axles. And right up above, you got your living room satellite, bedroom satellite, and cable connection. So when you need to run those, bam, there's your ports labeled. Another great feature that I think is, is awesome to have, especially for transport, for safety, this is the Furion Side Vision. It comes set up here on the RV. You can get that added on, and I gotta tell you, it's worth it. Fresh water drain, and our galley tank locations are under there as well. But the most important part of any RV is gonna be this right here, the info panel. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this vehicle weigh? Now, for example, you'll see right here, gross vehicle weight says 13,990. This thing is roughly 11,400 pounds dry, but it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a biggie. You're looking at over 40 feet. But for a front living destination camper that can sleep, gosh, four people comfortably, or if you're an adventurous couple that just wants a vacation home, you got to check out the Forest River Cedar Creek Cottage 40CCK. I put it at the top of the list. Plus, it's one of the best selling cottages around. I mean, the floor plan is outstanding. But leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you like about it, what you not like about it, because we love hearing from you. I'm Chris Young for Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors. I'm going to go lay in that dual zone AC. Bye.